Hey guys, this is Rich here on behalf of Rich TV Live, and there's this article on Seeking Alpha that really piqued my interest. It says, Aurora Cannabis, the reason why they exceed over all competitors, and now that we are getting so close to legalization, I mean, we're so close. You can just taste it. We're just days away from legalization in Canada and the start of a new historical chapter for cannabis lovers everywhere only 12 days eight hours 40 minutes away from history in canada and aurora cannabis my number one since day one aurora has a huge increase in patients and grams sold which shows promising growth growth with investments worth nearly 700 million they have acted as a marijuana hedge fund and although the marijuana sector is very volatile I believe once it stabilizes, Aurora Cannabis will continue to grow with high returns. Aurora Cannabis, under the symbol ACBFF, has proved to be a cannabis powerhouse as it creates their own cannabis products, invests in other cannabis companies, and is making partnerships that could send them into long-term success. With growth, rate, growth rates faster than competitors and a surplus of marijuana, Aurora is looking really good. As of right now, Aurora's main money maker is its investments in other companies, totaling oh 700 million. As for their own marijuana, they are expected to produce 750,000 kilograms in 2019. This is largely due to their huge facilities and recent acquisition of MedRelief. For those reasons, we believe Aurora Cannabis is the most promising cannabis stock in the market. Let's talk about their finances, which are monstrous. Aurora's finances might be one of the best in the cannabis industry with investments totaling 700 million in value that has been a huge money maker for them with their total current assets being worth roughly 220 million they have money lots of it this is very good as it shows that they can make huge acquisitions yet they still have money to spend another good thing is their revenue grew to 55 million this year which is a growth of over 300% year over year that is staggering now only it is important that the revenue is growing rapidly but they were also finally able to turn a profit in 2018 and hopefully that continues this has helped their eps to grow to 16 cents which is respectable for a growing company a main cause to this would be their growth in patients and grams of marijuana sold. Their patients grew 110.8% since last quarter, enormous growth, and their grams have sold, have grown 16.5% since last quarter. Overall, with a growing number of patients and grams sold, the company's financials look to keep growing as time moves on. As you will see in an image below, Aurora's revenue has hit roughly $16, 16 million Canadian, which is higher than the biggest competitor, Canopy Growth, CGC. Basically a cannabis hedge fund. When looking back at the 700 million investments, it shows that when other cannabis stocks succeed, so does Aurora. One of these investments happens to be a 55 million investment into Green Organic Dutchman, otherwise known as TGODF in America, TGOD in Canada. At 165, this gave them 33 million shares. Those shares alone are worth roughly 200 million now. With other investments and other shares helping their money mount up, Aurora is able to expand past their company. Considering marijuana stocks are very volatile, as of late, a perfect example being Tilray, the number is due to change. With the farm bill looking as a high potential to be passed, marijuana stocks look to have a bright future and as we have seen through the current investments, when marijuana stocks do well, Aurora does well. Their product. Aurora has proven their facilities that they are able to produce a lot of cannabis. Aurora is set to grow more than 140,000 kilograms of cannabis annually by the end of this year with its own facilities. With the acquisition of MedRelief, that adds another 35,000 kilograms to that total. Aurora's expansion efforts are expected to boost its annual production capacity to more than 570,000 kilograms by 2019. This allows Aurora to not only worry on whether or not they will produce enough, although they have been doubts on if the marijuana market will demand this much, we believe it will. Although in the early stages they may have oversupply, marijuana use will grow for medical and recreational use. 
Now that Aurora's production is roughly equal to Canopy's, I rate Aurora as the best marijuana stock to buy. Number one, and I, what have I said to you guys since the beginning? I told you that I loved Aurora. With their sales growing rapidly, the whole company is looking amazing in general. From last quarter to this recent one, their amount of patients has grown by over 110%. This has also allowed for a 16.5% increase in grams sold quarter over quarter. Although I stated this is the early financial section, I want to reiterate the point as their rapid growth is a main point in buying. Conclusion. Although majority of my articles don't have a formal conclusion, I believe Aurora deserves one. I say this because Aurora stock, like all other cannabis stocks, has skyrocketed in the recent years, all because of legalization news. Of course, the market has been driven by news of the farm bill and a full legalization around Canada. Yet, unlike many other cannabis companies, Aurora has created a system allowing them to thrive for years. With extreme profits off of investments, Aurora proves not only to be a cannabis manufacturer, but also be seen as a marijuana hedge fund. As markets for marijuana grows, Aurora grows, even if it's their competitors selling the most. This being said, the amount of acquisitions they have made recently to improve their company is truly magnificent. With a surplus of cash, they are able to improve their product through these acquisitions with little concern. On another note, their product has been awarded numerous medals and patients clearly love it. So in conclusion, Aurora is the best cannabis stock to buy in today's day and age. Wow. Unbelievable. That's strictly an opinion. Remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence. Always do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here on Rich TV Live. I love Aurora Cannabis. It's always been my number one. Obviously, cannabis growth is LeBron, but maybe Aurora is Kevin Durant. It's true. The last two years, Kevin Durant has won the MVP, not LeBron. He's beat LeBron. Will Aurora be Canopy? Your boy Rich thinks it's possible. If you're not winning, you're not watching, smash that like button. Share this video everywhere. Comment down below. What do you think of Aurora Cannabis? I love it. 12 days, 8 hours, 33 minutes away from history. It's your boy Rich. Aurora Cannabis. What do you think? Let me know what you think, guys. Comment down below. I'm out. Peace.